Well, hello everybody and welcome back to this uh, ACTO vlog. Uh, today we're delighted to welcome uh, Clemmy Jakes, R&D Director of ACTO, and I'm Pip Wheats, Vice Chair of ACTO. So welcome Clemmy, first of all. Hello. Uh, so I've got uh, three questions and we're going to divide this into three vlogs uh, and uh, so that you can just listen to them as little snippets. So in this uh, vlog, we're going to discuss what inspired you uh, to agree to be R&D Director of ACTO? Um, so I became aware of ACTO when I did my general certificate um, and became a member. Um, and then I did my um, diploma. Um, and it was during my diploma that I sort of did more and more um, of my own research into um, you know the evidence base um and also the you know the exciting future developments that are around you know therapy online um and that's not just sort of video therapy but i've always been interested in so for example i did the um virtual reality training as mm. well uh, which is very much sort of an area an area for development and um, i have my own background in research i did my master's in research and obviously i did my doctorate and I think it's a really important area. Um, so um, when the research and development director um, came up, I thought I'd be a good fit for the role. And I thought that I could bring some of my knowledge and enthusiasm to the role. Well, Clem, I couldn't be more pleased because of course I was the first R&D director. And um, I think uh, it was the most exciting job to be given in the world. It was like giving, being given permission to just go and play with toys all day long. Uh, because ultimately playing with VR and some of the other exciting future developments uh, is important. And um, I think it's pretty important really for us to be um, inspiring and guiding our members, isn't it really? Um, you know, there's so much stuff out there, it's difficult to make sense of what's good and what's not good, I suppose. I think it, it's certainly dif it's difficult because um, there's so many different sort of journal articles, there's so many magazine, newspaper articles, websites, mm. um, apps, books, who knows what is, you know, a uh, substantive and, and worth taking notice of, and, and what is um, it's hard unless you sort of go through and trawl through and have training or to know which journals are ones that have got good research um, methods, methodology, mm -hmm. which ones are robust um, uh, uh, and therefore which ones sort of hold the most weight. Well, I think we'll wait till the second question in the second blog, which will cover this subject to some extent. So viewers, you've got a, an idea of what's to follow in the second one. Um, but thank you, Clemmy, for this answering this first question about why you agreed to be the R&D director. And I wish you well in what I think is probably one of the most exciting roles in the world. Thank you. 